So we've been asked to talk a little bit about how Benary funds its exhibitions and um, of course like many galleries uh, funding is a struggle today however unlike many galleries we receive absolutely no public funding so we do have to try very hard um, to um, apply for all the grants that we can uh, we also um, receive funding towards catalogues very often we were delighted in this instance to have funding from the Paul Mellon Foundation which helped us to both research the exhibition and went towards the publication. We're also uh, very heavily reliant on donations on our own scheme of friends memberships um, but of course now the gallery no longer charges for exhibitions and that has changed the dynamic in the sense that our visitor numbers we think have increased exponentially. The attendance at Uproar has been absolutely phenomenal and I'm sure a lot of that is due to this free entrance. Uh, we then hope to sell catalogues, that's a very big part of the process. Obviously we have to outlay in order to produce the catalogues but by producing what we hope is a, a good product both in terms of uh, the scholarship contained and the kind of look of the catalogues which are beautifully designed uh, we hope that there's um, a good income stream there we also host regular curatorial tours one of the questions was are tours available and absolutely uh, we're now building in curatorial tours that have a nominal charge as a regular part of these exhibitions that brings in an income stream and we hope in those curatorial tours not just to give the dry art historical facts, but also to give some of the anecdotes um, that kind of exist behind the scenes. And again, this is another question we were asked, were there particular anecdotes relating to uproar? And I'd say, I think as we touched on before, because the press coverage and criticism was so rich, a lot of the anecdotes refer to some of the press quotes and um, for example Rodrigo Moynihan's objective extraction of 1935-36 and I paraphrase slightly here was described as looking like the bottom of a half tuned parrot's cage and it sits in the gallery next door to Jessica Dismore's work which was likened to laundry on the way back from the wash house so you know the Similarly, press we had so many of those did us a great service. Sickert was described as a snub nose with a portrait of a lady attached the girtler caused the eponymous uproar of the title and so forth and so we were particularly keen with those to um, get the works which related to that press if you possibly and it gives could. a kind of lighter side to the exhibition so that the viewer's experience isn't just a totally dry academic one. Okay. And one of the other questions we've had was, why have I not heard of Ben Uri before? Um, perhaps we've suffered from where our current location is. We're a little bit off the beaten track in St John's Wood, and we are very, very conscious of that. And whilst we don't want to forget our Jewish heritage, it's very important for Ben Uri as we move forward to relocate uh, to a location that's much more within the kind of forefront, the mainstream of London cultural activities. So whether we're on the South Bank, whether we're somewhere near Tate Modern, whether we're in Bermondsey, uh, whether we're near the National Gallery, there are lots of possible locations. And Benary is absolutely actively at the moment looking for the right kind of space in which it could engage with different cultural partnerships and absolutely be part of the cultural mainstream. One of our um, main ideas for the new building as well would be that we will not only have room to show great exhibitions like Uproar, but we will have much more room for our permanent collection, which is 1,300 plus works. And as we mentioned earlier, only room for two in the current show. But we would also like to actively invite in other emigre communities who will curate their own shows in the space as well. So if anybody knows of any great spaces out there, do please get in touch and um, you know, we much appreciate all the support we've had for Uproar. All the great questions. And hope that all people will come and see our future shows um, later this year. And you can find out lots more information about Benary by going to www.benary.org.uk Thank you.